this show, this theatre, this writer, it's a combination of all the things that I need from theatre right now. It's very exciting and it's it's a really beautiful way to tell, to tell a story. You should come to see Overflow because you've never seen anything like it and you will be gripped from the beginning of the show and you will come out with a greater understanding of what it is to be trans. Having this story centred in this building, I think it's just so important. This show is sexy and funny and warm but so personal and in becoming so personal becomes like so universal. It's so contemporary and it's so relatable to everyone even just how much it talks about club culture and how clubs are spaces for forming friendships, for learning new experiences. It's very, it's sort of simultaneously like uplifting and galvanising. It also feels like so truly theatrical in some respects as well. The set, the lighting, I really must say, like the whole creative team have yeah. just pulled off such a feat and it just reminds you of the magic of theatre. I go to the theatre and I am interested in stories because I want to discover other perspectives. I want to hear things beyond my own experience. And this is one of the things that makes me so grateful to, you know, to, to live in London and be able to come to the bush. You have to see the show and I'm so glad that I did because it's fresh, it's new, it's modern. It's a story that hasn't been told on stage, a narrative written by a trans writer, trans character, and that is exactly how it should be. And a play that's about clubbing and that's about sisterhood and that's about friendship and that's about like sharing space. Fun. Galvanised. Gut-wrenching. Inspiring. Empowering. Powerful. And wet. <laughs>